Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Some time ago, I was when I was fitting the uh, the water tank to uh, above the spare wheel carrier on the Hilux, I mentioned that I have a a Boab 40 liter footwell tank, and I had a few requests to see it in place. I had it sitting in the tray in the, in the other video, so I'm about three and a half weeks out from a, a really remote trip. So I'm heading up to Zurkhart or Ireland. Island on the sort of westernmost point of Western Australia, and I'll be away from fresh water for about nine, nearly ten days. So there'll be two of us on board. <clears throat> so my uh, underslung tank is uh, 28 litres. This one is 40, and an additional jerry can is another 20. So that'll be barely enough drinking water for two people in a reasonably warm environment. For that period of time. So add on top of that long life milk, a few beers and some cool drinks, we'll get by. I've done similar trips in the past. So my vehicle is a uh, Hilux Extra Cab. So it doesn't quite have the space in the cab that a four-door utility does. But this fits in nicely. It sits behind the seats, sits flat on the floor. It uh, basically works on a gravity feed so once the uh, it starts flowing I'll give you a demonstration on the flow rate people ask me that now I'm five foot ten in the old scale and I've got one more click on the seat rail before it crashes into this uh, tank so if you're six foot or under with an extra cab you're probably fine the, the four door one would have a little bit more room than that but I've got what I've got so it's a great little tank, there's nothing to go wrong with it. Now, because of the shape for the universal fit, it has a, uh, a, a lump in the middle for the transmission tunnel. <clears throat> so you get 30 litres out of it easy. The last 10, or last quarter of a tank, you either have to do a, a hard uh, left-hand turn to get the water out of, out of it, or uh, just lift one end for the last 10 litres. So that's sort of handy to know you've got a quarter of your water left. So, I'll squeeze in here. So there it is there. It's a pretty simple device. Okay guys, it's got, it came with a, uh, this hose fit kit, kit. It's got a good quality ball valve, and these are just standard retic fittings here in Australia. So obviously if I turn it on high enough, nothing will happen. Now the cap is airtight, so I need to bring it down low enough to start flowing. And of course the higher I go the slower it will get. But there at the uh, rock slider, I hope the camera's seeing that, you can see the, the flow rate. Of course if you put the cap on it will slow down, get more air in a bit quicker. So it's not painfully slow to empty. And of course turns it off. So here's some footage, it's a bit dark I know. Of it sitting in place. That's my work tools of course. So the way I refill it is I just take the uh, the jump seat out. Throw everything around. I just lift the jump seat out and use a jerry can with a tap on it to fill it rather than the garden hose because it makes the water taste horrible. Anyway guys, I'll add a few uh, still shots to this. And see how that goes. So, getting pretty excited for this uh, trip up to Durkhard Island. Anyway guys, if you like the content I create, feel free to subscribe, it helps me out greatly. We'll catch you next time.